Hello everybody, Revan Meg is here welcoming you. Today I want to talk about something a little bit different. This is Coral Island. This is a game, it's being developed by an Indonesian company that I am absolutely excited for. I love farming simulators and this was recently done as a Kickstarter. Now as you can see, there is a very take on this of being similar to Harvest Moon, Stardew Valley. I'm going to showcase, we're going to, let's take a quick look at this. I'm going to full screen it, obviously. So we get a lot of the looks of traditional Harvest Moon-esque games when they went towards the 3D. Now, I love that the character designs are a little bit more kind of like... I'm trying to think of like a play doh -y style almost. They have a little bit of texture to them, like they're action figure-esque. Now, the whole thing is you're building up your farm. Look at those animals. That is that is 100% Harvest Moon. There's deep sea diving. I think this is a cool, I love the cool aesthetics that they do with this. Oh, you pick up through garbage, okay. Interesting take. Oh, there's even a mermaid. Is she? And you got like the dateable bachelorettes. Yes, I love. I love the like actual drawing style that they've employed with this. There's some really cool. There's also combat. Yes. You can give gifts. I love the character designs. Everything with this looks so good. And this is one of those things that I think. This is going to be an amazing game. I believe it comes out later this year in October is when they're expecting. If you kickstarted it up to certain levels, you can end up getting uh, pre-alpha, that kind of thing. The combat leaves a little bit to be desired. I think that's kind of a, I don't lo love it. Oh my God, there's a Sheba. Yeah, your house is fully customizable. That's cool. Got a little bit of the, uh, oh, what do you call it? Animal Crossing. Okay, okay. Uh, let, definitely nice. Okay, got the calendar, got the projects, got everything that's very similar to Stardew Valley. Just with more flair. All right. Oh, there's, let's see. I like her. Kita Ishta Wait, did that say February? That didn't say February. Coming to Kickstarter February 1st. Okay. So, definitely pretty uh, interesting. Now, I'm going to go over to the Kickstarter because I want to actually show off some more of the characters. There's a little bit more there. All right, so there's still the stuff that we saw. They've blown away their goal. I mean, look at this, almost two million, million and a half, bunch of backers. I actually did back this as an alpha farmer. I thought this game's gonna be ridiculously good. So we've got, basically they were hoping for 70K. At 125, you get the mini games, which we've kind of seen. Uh, the Merfolk, Underwater Village, we've kind of seen like some of that, bug catching, kids growing up, which is awesome. Mod support, multiplayer, uh, different festivals, which they've, yeah. A few different extra characters on the roster, more characters added, and then basically an end game and then some other stuff. Definitely have an R 400k to work with. If they keep it in scope, awesome. Now we get to see the romanceable characters. I'm actually... The one thing I always have with these games is there's very few characters I like. But I'm honestly looking at this and going, I like every single character design. I actually think every single character design with this is pretty awesome. So obviously on the male side, we got Noah, Scott, Raphael, Kenny, uh, Surya, Theo, Pablo, Luke. Uh, that's the male bachelors. And then you got, for the females, you got Yuri, Lily, Ava, Leah, or Leia, Nina, uh, Macy, Alice, and Zara. Now let's 
I mean, first of all, I have, this is one of those games I'm actually looking at and going, I have no idea. I have no idea who I would even go after. This girl's cool. She's a doctor, which I'm like, that's awesome. This girl's cool. This girl looks like your best friend. This is Haley. This girl, I, I mean, just looking at all these characters, I'm like, these characters are well designed. These are some awesome character designs. I like, I like this girl even. I think she's pretty cool. Really, honestly, the least the character I think that's like the least interesting is this girl. And I actually like her design too. Oh my gosh, why can't Suki be dateable? Wait. Ah, she is. She will be. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, Betty. I mean, no, I mean, oh gosh. Even the, man, the townsfolk are well designed. You've got some cool townsfolk people. I like her. I like him. So you got a lot of the traditional, you can build your farm. You've got crops. They're showcasing some of them. You've got the plants, the trees. We saw that in the cutscenes. There's also different types. These are some very unique, different types of uh, animals that we've never seen in games before, like a peacock, quails. Um, you've had ducks before. There's goats, llamas. That, that's been in Harvest Moon games. A luwak, which I have no idea what that'll do. And then the diving. There's also the option, and it's further down. Where is it? So you have your create a character, you can like get a pet, all that kind of stuff. Very similar. I think that might have been a sheep at the end. Fishing, all the different types of fish they can catch. Definitely some cool looking ones. Uh, skill trees. Like I said, they took a lot of inspiration from Stardew, Harvest Moon, all those kinds of games. Cool as heck to see. Uh, the plants, all that. Uh, you got some of that. You got a Sheba. Yeah, so you can get like a... Your pet will be around the farm. They come inside. There's cooking, quests, all that stuff. The map looks pretty nice. Um, the goddess chick who defies proportions. Uh, the merfolk. God, he's hot. I mean, she's good, but like, man. This guy looks like a, like, he would be catching waves, you know, that kind of cool stuff. Man, he's cool. These guys are cool too. I didn't actually see all this. This wasn't on here when I like actually backed the game. Soundtrack. All right, so here was the rewards that you could have gotten. There was name in the credits. There was the alpha thing. If I had seen that, I might have actually have gone up to the 45. That's kind of a cool, that's kind of cool. Double uh, deluxe farmer. So what they also added in, there's a lot, see what I mean? There's like some big farming options. There was a lot you could actually go for. Uh, this is what they're basically, I'm a little bit, this is the one thing I'm a little bit disappointed about. There is already kind of talk of there will be DLC stuff, which I'm not a big fan of, but if you basically were a deluxe farmer, here's one of the uh, pets that you can get. I'm not really too sure how much I care about this, but it's kind of cool. Uh, the headdresses, the wings, some extra costumes. Um, just a lot of neat stuff. And you can add these on. I mean, I'm obviously not going to, but this is, I'm, oh, so they're expecting uh, fourth quarter of 2022, but the early access will be fourth quarter and then the alpha access will be here. So in three months, yeah. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. If you have not checked, like, if you have not put this on your radar, you're not looking at this game. You're doing something wrong, because this is definitely going to be an awesome game that'll probably end up... If it's as good as it looks already, 
I could see this basically being the Stardew Valley of the like 2020 and beyond. I mean, it's hard to believe that Stardew Valley is already that old, but this could honestly, I mean, oh man, these care like everything just looks so good. And I'm hoping I'm not going to be disappointed, but I, I think this is going to be an awesome game. I really do. So if you haven't checked it out, uh, wishlisted on Steam, definitely give it a look. And when it comes out, we'll check it out. But I hope you guys are as excited about this as I am. Once again, this is Coral Island. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And until next time, this is Rev Mega saying I'll catch you later.